Now, come on, stop that! Uh, 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 no crying, none of that sloppy stuff. Now, we agreed. What is it with women, anyway? I don't know. Why can't they be happy like us? Yeah, a couple of happy guys, old buddies. Two lugs that go back to 1942 together. 42. Remember that song about Chicago we used to sing? <laughs> Do I? I used to work in Chicago in a department store. I used to work in Chicago. I did, but don't anymore. A woman came in for a girdle one day. What kind would you adore? Rubber, she said. Oh, rubber, I did. I, I did, did, but I don't, don't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> How can you move all the way across the country on me, Arthur? Walter, I don't want to go. I just, just... Hey, I got my old footlocker over in the living room waiting for the moving van tomorrow. You want to come and look in it? All our old army stuff is in there. The canteens, the victory medals, hey, that old bathing suit poster of Betty Grable. Oh, my God. Yeah, all swell stuff like that. Arthur, do you still have your old cornet in there? Oh, sure I do. Come on, I'll play Stardust for you. Oh, Walter, not Stardust. <laughs> oh, it's hard to believe those two were once trained to kill. <laughs> it is silly to cry like that. Well, it certainly is. <laughs> well, Arthur and I have to be up at five in the morning, so I guess we really ought to call it a night. Yeah, you're going to need your rest for that long drive up to Idaho. Right. We'll be back in Tuckahoe at least every summer. Of course you will, and we'll get out to Idaho every once in a while. Yeah, and there's always the telephone. And letters. Yeah. Nice, long letters. <laughs> hmm? Goodbye, Phil. Goodbye, Mike. Have a nice trip. We will, we will. I'll get in touch with you real soon. You bet. Oh, and uh, send Walter home. I will, and maybe we'll come to Washington to see you. Oh, Vivian, honey, that was just a pipe dream. I'm not gonna run for office. I was just clutching at straws because all of a sudden my whole life was turned upside down. Uh, now, I think I'll just find myself a nice rocking chair and learn how to be old. Oh, I, I can't see you ever doing that. I love you, Vivian. I love you, Mark. Bye. Bye. Oh, uh, leave the door open for oh. Walter. Oh. Maud. Did you forget something, Pip? I forgot to cry. <laughs> so did I. Where am I going to find another Vivian? <laughs> Miss Finley! Hey, yo, Miss Finley! Sam, what are you doing here? I've been trying to get in touch with you for a long time, but your line's been busy. Well, I, I took the phone off the hook. To be perfectly frank, I'm... I'm in no mood for visitors. I, I'm very sad, Sam, and I'd really like to be alone with my thoughts. Well, I just might have some news here to cheer you up a bit. Cheer me up. Sam, I have a daughter I am closer to than any human being. I have a grandson I adore, the, the thought of whom just brings joy to my heart. I have a friend, Sam, a true friend, whom I have shared my entire life with ever since high school. They're all moving away, Sam, and you're going to cheer me up? Oh, well, what the hell? Let's give it a shot anyway. <laughs> See, the governor decided not to call a special election to replace Congresswoman McElhaney. He decided to appoint somebody instead. Mr. Finley, he decided to appoint you. Happy days are here. <laughs> Thank you.